Hi, everybody. All right, good morning. It's Wednesday, and we are working. So here were you... Well, this is where we picked up last time, where I'm putting the snap bushings on the wires that go underneath the seats, right? Uh, those... It's the headset, it's the microphone jack, and it's the USB charger. Those are the ones we needed to get finished before I could put the snap bushings in. Now that those wires are done and the links are all secured, snap bushing away. Uh, we still have the wing wiring to deal with, but we won't deal with that for a while because I don't know how long to cut stuff. Uh, there you can see the blue and green sort of uh, vinyl tubing. That is for the pitot and the angle of attack coming out of the left wing. Uh, the wing box has holes drilled on either side of it uh, that are used and I think they're little 3 8 inch holes. On the right side, that's where your brake lines come through. On the left side, I'm using those to put those two vinyl tubes in. So, just a little bonus. Thank you, Vans, for supplying me with, uh, with holes to use. <laughs> Alright, so today we're working on the front nose gear. We'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, oh dear, what am I doing here? Uh, and there's some stuff to talk about that, but I don't get to that for about a minute while I fiddle around with getting all the pieces together. Uh, it's got some Q&A someone was asking about, you know, we'll, we'll, what was your decision in doing a slow build? I've talked about this before, and this is a very good question. Uh, this is the first plane I've ever built, and I felt it important that I have my hands on every single rivet, <coughs> pardon me, every single rivet, every single wire, right? If I could have built my avionics, I would have. Wouldn't that be funny? Garmin sells a G3X kit yeah, to put all the, the pieces together. To, no, no, I'm, I'm good with letting them build that. But yeah, every single rivet, every single wire, I want to be involved in. I need to know that if I'm building a 180-knot airplane, that it's all done by me. Not that the... I'm sure the quick-build people over there in the Philippines do a really good job, uh, but no, yeah, it's just not for me. So there's that. So we're talking about the front landing gear, which is what we're going to work on now. With the gear leg in place, what you'll need is... It's, it's, it's not too difficult. There's the big front fork, which it's hard to tell, but it's actually up on that desk because I've had it powder-coated white. Uh, the original one comes not powder-coated. I decided to powder-coat mine, because why not? So what you'll do is... Uh, there's that collar. You see that collar I'm sort of messing with there? That is what keeps the cast the nose wheel from casting, you know, 360 degrees. So that needs to go on. One of the things that Vance tells you to do is to go ahead and sand up that column, which I did. I've got a little orbital sander with uh, some 320 grit paper to make sure it's nice and smooth. Uh, one thing is that powder coating at the top of the leg can stop that collar from getting up. So you, I had to sand a little bit of that down. <clears throat> After that, what you'll need to do is get yourself some uh, axle grease, <clears throat> and then you'll be able to slide. Well, you could slide the front fork on anyway, but you need to grease it up. And there's actually a grease fitting and everything. Now, uh, there's that front fork. Doesn't that powder coating look good? Now, there's one thing about that collar that you need to know, and you can see me doing it right here, and that's that, yep, that's the correct orientation. Yep, collar on the bottom. That always works. All right, so once the so the, you, as you can see the fork slides on, you have two Belleville washers and then a big giant nut. And I'm pulling out my big wrenches here, but I don't have one big enough. Uh, that nut is one and three quarter inch, and since I don't have one, I had to order myself one. So the Belleville washers, the idea behind them is that this isn't a castering nose wheel, right? As you can see, this thing's just kind of free floating. The plane steers by uh, differential braking, right? Brake on the right, go to the right. Uh, the Belleville washers are there to keep that nose wheel straight. So as you roll onto the runway and the... It's kind of like lining up a, a tail wheel. You line up the nose wheel, you got to be going straight. And that wheel won't turn without a minimum amount of force. And those Belleville washers get tightened up to the point where it takes a certain amount of force to even move the nose wheel. And Vance tells you to tighten that nut up until it takes about 26 pounds. And that's what I did. I didn't do it now because I don't have the proper wrench. But I do. Uh, so yeah, if, if you're doing this, order yourself a one and three quarter inch wrench. And if you have time, get that fork powder coat. Doesn't that look good? 
Okay, so we're moving on to test fitting the axles. Uh, I still don't have the bolts to put them in, but I can use shorter bolts just for alignment purposes. The idea is we're going to put a block of wood and a string attached to both axles to see if the uh, legs are aligned up right. And we'll get into more of that in the next video. Basically, the spoiler alert, they're perfectly aligned. Uh, but this will let you know whether or not you're towed in, out, and whether you need some spacers, etc. So. Alright, in the next video we're going to do that, and we will have this gear wrapped up. So thank you for joining me, and see you soon.